Hi guys and welcome back to our tutorial series. In, tut in this tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to make your player aim down the site using animation. I have animations made already from my animator, custom made, and um, yeah, it's animation based, it's not based on um, positions, we're not going to position it. So I just want to let you know right now this is animation based. But I will ask my animator, because I'm a nice enough person, if you can make you guys animations using spare arms and you could use that towards the tutorials and I'm pretty sure he'll do it, he's a nice person himself so yeah let's get started with this tutorial so we're gonna make him aim down the site first thing we gotta make one change if you remember this was input.get key we wanna change that to a mouse button now because we don't wanna fire with the F key so we're gonna say get mouse button open bracket zero is the left mouse button key that you shoot with that Underneath this else um, closing brace, which is for the get input mouse button if statement, we're gonna say else and closing curly brace, and we're gonna say game object dot find open bracket close bracket two speech marks find the object that has my animations and which is called animations dot animation dot crossfade not play this time I exp I'll explain to you why I use this open bracket put the animation name idle so I will pose comma oh comma one and um, the reason I'm using crossfade is because if I use play it kind of interferes with the aim animation and you can't do both at the same time the only way that you can fix that is using um, booleans. We don't want to use booleans because it's going to pile up the script again and again. We want it plain and simple this time. So we're going to use crossfade animation. And put your closing semicolon. Okay, underneath this closing brace, which closes this whole if statement over here, just make a new if statement. We're going to say if, open right, close bracket, open curly brace, close curly brace. We're going to say else as well. Open curly brace and close curly brace. Over here, we're going to say if our input dot get mouse button open bracket is equals to zero. So if we're firing at that moment, and if we press our right key mouse button, so input dot get mouse button <coughs> open bracket one which is the right key. I'm going to copy this. I'm going to paste that into there. And I'm just going to change this to animation, uh, aim, and change it to 0 0.5. And I forgot to explain what that does. This is basically how long you want the animation to crossfade. It will take 0 0.5 seconds for this to crossfade, and one second for this to crossfade back into its normal animation. The reason we want this faster because we don't want the aim animation to be too slow. So let's do it 0.2 actually. We want it to zoom in really fast. So that's fine. Alright, we also want to change the spread factor so we have more accuracy now. So we're going to say spread factor equals 0.01 and save. And else spread factor is going to be still the same 0 0.5 copy this whole list statement place it underneath this and delete the first input and the two ampersand signs so you should have input dot guest uh, get mouse button one so we can even just hold the right mouse button and just zoom in and believe it or not that's done that's all you gotta do to make a simple aim down the sights so now if I run the game, if I shoot, there's a lot of spread. If I aim down the sight and shoot, there's less spread. Let go, more spread. See, it takes literally one second to go back into the idle animation. 0 0.5 seconds to cross fade into this. And it works beautifully. And if you're wondering how my animation is dead on perfect into the camera's position, 
what I'd done was I basically clicked on the animation I selected um, aim which is the animation I put it up here so it could play I said run and start play automatically well I can't do that now because the scripts are turned on but I'll quickly turn them on for you off for you no problem let me just turn it off where is it there we go no it's in this one that's why um, I'm also going to turn this off as well. No, what am I doing? I'm just going to turn this FPS script up as well so I can show you how I place my camera so perfectly. Alright. <clears throat> it's still on. Amazing. I don't think that has it. Just give me one second. No, nope, that's fine. Camera shade turn off. Turn off. Let me just save this. Run it. Okay, still not playing. Hold on. Aim. I want to play as soon as the game starts but why is it still playing the idle animation beats me both of the scripts are turned off camera ray shoot scripts completely turned off interesting Alright, um, let me just go in here quickly, turn these off. One of these is just screwing it up. <coughs> Let's shoot, turn off, and um, turn off, save. Do not do this, I'm just going to show you how I place the camera, that's why. Alright, as you can see, the animation goes to its place and all I did was I selected my camera I removed all the objects which are within the camera I just placed them somewhere else for now then I took the camera I positioned it like that and that's it and then I the game was running I didn't realize that oh yeah, sorry that is why I did yes basically I placed it pause the game select the camera remove the objects position it like I said before okay then I looked at the positioning, I copied all the position onto a notepad, stopped the game, removed the objects out of here again, I positioned the object uh, the camera's position and then took the objects and put them back into the main camera and then when I run it, it looked perfect. But now everything is fine, I'll undo these and I'll show you what the final result would be like if we do what I just showed you. Let's turn all the scripts back on. Reshoot and body one. There we go. And <coughs> that's it. Oops, got to turn a few things off. Uh, on this one and that one. That's it. That's how I got my cameras to be positioned so perfectly. And that's how you make aiming down the site. Well, guys, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial as much as I did making it. And um, I will see you next time. Unfortunately, I cannot do the lift tutorial. I was planning to do it today, but I've got plans right now. And um, I've got to do some demo reviews as well. So I've got to do that first. Lift tutorial, I'll leave it to next week because I've got... A lot more to show you next week so 
I can just squeeze it into that tutorial series. Uh, as always guys, thank you for watching. Don't forget to rate, comment, subscribe, and I will catch you later. Take it easy.